Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and today I want to talk to you about storytelling dice and using the Wreck and Wreck. So these are storytelling dice. They're great. You could use them for lots of different things, but for storytelling, the kids roll the dice. So say I have two dice, and I have six and six. So there were six dogs in the park, and six more came. How many dogs are there all together now? And then I want kids to know that there's five and five is ten, and two more is twelve. Right? And so, roll the dice again. Oh, there were five dogs, and then one more came. How many dogs are there? There's six now. See, the reason I like storytelling dice is this. Storytelling dice give the kids the context, and they give them the number. And so, it's part of the practice or the process where you're getting kids to actually contextualize numbers and to tell problems. But what I find is when you just tell kids, well, tell me a story problem, they don't know what to say. But if they have really cool dice that have, you know, dogs and frogs and bears and fish, then they can roll it and they could tell about that. They could say there were six dogs and then one more came or there were, you know, three dogs and then one dog left or, you know, so they could tell dice with storytelling dice. So get some storytelling dice because dice are nice and they're great to do really great standards-based, academically rigorous activities with.